and welcome back to my channel. So we are now uh, at the point in the assembly where we're going to be looking at painting. So I have progressed into the stages. Let's go ahead and do this part. So we've progressed through the stages where I've gone back and I've put all the, the base panels done. We put, we've made the engine pieces, right? Um, not going to put those on because I've got those as a gunmetal start. We're going to leave that be. Um, we're going to do our, our base painting now. I've got the tires. We're starting off. I am going with the weight on wheels. Um, these are, you know, I, I like to look at that. So that's where we're going with those. So the tire pieces, we've got, you know, we're, we're doing the, the base painting on those. We're doing this separately. Um, these these pieces here where we're you know the, the instructions they put all these pieces on this is the part i'm skipping right we're going to do this later uh we have the underside which is one color and then we have the top side which is the camera so we have this now to the point where i've skipped ahead i've, I've i'm doing these in separate installments we've got the antennas put on i want to call something out here um this one and this one. There's a little piece that's in here you see earlier on in the assembly. Where's this little booger? He's like at number three, 39A. Yeah, that one right here goes in that hole right there. That's a clear part. And the same for this. That's a clear part. So I'm going to do a little bit, this one right here. I'm going to do a little bit of research to see what color that needs to be behind that. Um, so those are two clear parts. I spent like forever looking for these things. So I've got all those little pieces on and the next step is to do like all the armaments and then, then those pieces. So I'm now where, all right, let's move to painting. So we got to get this thing in space paint job. Yes, I left it open. This is going to get masked. And then the underside I'm going to paint with those things also open. Um, I have filler. I've, I've got a couple things I need to do filler on, a couple things I need to sand, but then we're, we're pretty much where we're going to paint. So I understand that we're going to have um, stuff I'm going to have to go back and paint again, but I'd rather get the mask, the, the base color down and ready. So I have these on. These take a little bit. These are a little fiddly, and your end wing pieces are fiddly. You can see I still need to... Um, fill those spaces, which you know will happen after this piece, after the video, of course. Um, so the next stage is do all that last bit of filler, mask this up, and then paint. So the underside is black. The top side will be the three-tone camo. Um, we have where is this guy here? Um, I believe so. Camo beige. And dark green. And then where's the light green? The light green was over here somewhere. There was a light green. Um, and of course, I can't find it now. Um, but it's a, a light green. Those are going to be the three colors for the, the Vietnam camo. And I believe that's pretty close. Um, again, it may not be exact, but it's going to be close. And I understand it won't be exact. And I'm okay with that. Um, but those are those are the colors I'm going to be going with. Um, we'll get the base, we'll get the black underside done. We'll get the base camo done. Um, and once I have that done, then we can go back and finish the detail work. Um, and this is that's one of the interesting things about this model that is, you know, that is work, but is is interesting is. You know, the, the having to paint in stages and the having to, to detail in stages and so forth. So, you know, everyone's used to doing cockpit and then install and then whatever. Um, I'm finding there's a lot of, of, of pieces of this where it's, I have to skip. I have to skip ahead. Um, had to skip the, the tail, the, the tail, the tail, let's see that again. The tail planes, but I also had to skip the wing edges because you know, knocking those, you know, it, they're going to be fiddly. This little piece, this, this thing's like tiny, um, 124, 123. 
minor quibble. Minor quibble, sort of. Um, what's not in here that really would be helpful is a sprue map. Because um, finding these bloody parts, especially these little guys, you know, I, like I said, I spent like 20 minutes looking for this stupid part. I thought I might have thrown the thing away. I thought, well, maybe it's clear. There's nothing here that tells me that. Um, and I looked back here, and I didn't see anything here that told me that it's clear. I don't see a notation that tells me it's clear. Um, there's a lot of, you know, 120... 126, 127, 120, or 126, 128, 129, they were close to each other, but the, the thing, 124 wasn't anywhere near it. Um, it was over by 50. Why is 124 sitting right next to 50? Yes, I understand they're small. Number them maybe so that you can find them. I understand, yes, this goes over here, maybe it should be whatever, but if this is sitting next to 50, how about make that 51? You know, make the numbers make sense rather than having to spend forever looking through your sprues. So, you know, here's 119 and 112 and 96 and 111. Um, here's 34. That's a challenge. I mean, if you, you, you can kind of glance and look, if you, can, if you know the shape and you sort of look at the shape, but this shape is similar to, you know, all right, so let's say you're looking for that shape, but you've also got this sprue with all the, all the missile fins, which has got a similar shape. If you're looking for shape, are the numbers even close, right? These sort of are, but these aren't. So minor quibble, but it would help. Um, anyway, I'm done whining now. Um, so just understand, be patient if you're, if you're trying to find pieces, especially when you have extra pieces. So that's one of the things that would be helpful, but it's not there. Now that all little fiddly pieces are on, just be careful. That one's tiny, that one's tiny. These, these, are, these little antenna things are tiny. Um, so just be careful, understand. Um, my next step now is going back and painting. Um, I'll do the finer, final bit of filler the sanding down of these of the seam here, which I've, I've started. I've got a little more to do here to clean up this one and this one. Um, and then the undersides here, and then we're pretty close to being ready for the camo. And so I think the next time I will talk to you, I will have the camo down, um, and I'll be working on detailing the painting. Once I have the base camo down, and I have the base colors down, I can go ahead and, and finish assembly, and then we start all the fun part, which is putting all the, de all the water slide transfers on and all that other fun stuff. Um, you know, put the, the landing gear and everything on once I'm done spraying and I don't, I'm only using a brush. So, that's where I am. That's what I'm doing. Um, with that said, um, my gosh, this thing is huge. This is a, this is a honking huge kit. Um, and I, I think I've mentioned that before, but I'm going to mention it again. Um, I had no idea how big this model was until I got into it. And, and now I was like, wow, I like it. I do like it. Um, but it's no small. I think it's, what, 24 inches long? Something like that. So, yeah, close to 22 inches long. So, all right. Thank you very much, everybody. I, again, hope you're enjoying this little build series. Uh, I think I've listed out all the little gotchas. Um, yeah, like I said, that thing's really tiny. Um, there's another one. I don't see where another one goes, so maybe they're nice enough to give you two. Um, but uh, there you go. I'll find out if I have to put another one on there. I haven't seen it yet. And I'll be back. Uh, thank you very much. And have a fantastic day. Talk to you next time.